Hello, beautiful. <laughs> yeah, you. Today, we're going to be putting together a beautiful, inexpensive Easter tablescape that's sure to wow all your friends and family. My name is Zakia, and each week I share decor, DIYs, and tips for living your most beautiful life. This week, this whimsical paper is the inspiration for our Easter tablescape. I love the colors, the movement, and the cute little bunnies, of course. I found this particular paper at Joanne for 50% off. The next item is this pack of yarn wrapped carrots from the Dollar Tree. They actually came in a pack of six, but I've already taken a few of them out. What we're going to do with these carrots is paint them. I'm painting the carrots with just a plain white chalk paint, and I had originally planned to just prime the carrots with the white paint and to paint them with a pink paint. But once I got these covered and they dried, the yarn sort of absorbed the white paint a little bit, and the carrots ended up looking like a very, very pale pink color. So I just left them as they were. The next thing I picked up from Dollar Tree was this jute twine and it's just a simple jute string. And we're going to use the string in conjunction with these printable paper flowers that you can find on beautifullivinghome.blogspot.com. First you're going to cut out your flowers and when you cut be sure to cut just inside of the black line. You don't want that black trim to remain on your final product. Next, we're going to take each of those little flowers and we're going to use a tiny hole punch and punch a hole directly in the center of each flower. If you don't have the tiny hole punch, then just get creative and use a pen or something sharp and just punch a hole large enough for that jute twine. Once you've cut out 10 of your flowers, you're going to want to cut two 12 inch lengths of the jute twine. String five of the flowers onto each piece of jute and then set those aside until later. The next thing I got at Dollar Tree was these cotton balls and we're going to do something really cute with these. While you're at beautifullivinghome.blogspot.com printing out your paper flowers, go ahead and print out these bunny templates. I printed my bunnies onto a light pink cardstock. You can choose whatever color goes with your tablescape. Again, be sure to cut inside the black line so that you don't have any of that trim left on your bunnies. And where you see the gray dotted line, go ahead and fold it as I'm folding mine on screen. When I'm folding at the dotted line, I'm being sure that the dotted line itself is going to be on the bottom of the fold because I don't want that to show up on our tablescape. So I'm going to put the dotted line on the bottom of the fold. Next, we're going to go back to our cotton balls and I'm sure you can probably guess where we're going with this. Let's take a piece of our handy dandy double sided tape and apply it to the cotton ball. Then press the cotton ball onto your bunny wherever the tail would be. The next item from Dollar Tree is this wreath. I picked this up a couple months ago and I loved how springy it looks and how natural and organic it looks. Now we're moving on to a few items that I didn't get at Dollar Tree but were still very inexpensive. This adorable paper mache bunny is from Target and it was only $5. I bought two of these bunnies and we'll be painting those white. One of the other really important elements of this tablescape is these eggs. I contemplated using plastic eggs, but I think that real eggs bring a nice organic quality to our tablescape that plastic just couldn't. These beautiful sage green linen blend napkins are from Hobby Lobby and I got them when they were on sale for 40% off. I also picked up this wide ribbon. I think it's one and a half inches wide at Hobby Lobby also. The width of the ribbon is actually pretty important to this tablescape because we're gonna be using this as our runner and we're gonna cover up the tabs on our paper bunnies with this ribbon. 
Our final items here are familiar to those of you who watched my spring tablescape and they are empty kombucha bottles which I love to repurpose. I'll be doing that here by painting them white. Let's start putting our tablescape together by running the thick pink ribbon down the center of the table lengthwise. Next, place a paper charger at each place setting. Here I'm placing down my plates, which also came from Dollar Tree and I showed them in my spring tablescape video. Here I'm placing basic white cake stands in the center of the table. I have had these stands for quite a number of years and I use them in a lot of different applications. I dyed the eggs that we saw earlier with natural food dyes, a very pale shade of green and the very palest shade of warm pink. And I put them in a Dollar Tree bowl on the top tier of our cake stands in the centerpiece. Time for the sweet little bunnies. Here you'll see why it was important to have a wide ribbon as our runner because I'm covering up the folded edge of our little paper bunny. Since our tablescape will be visible from both sides of the table, I'm gonna add another little bunny on the opposite side of our ribbon. Here's a nice view of what our table looks like so far. This is one of the kombucha bottles that we painted white with chalk paint and filled with water. The fresh flowers I'm using today are pink tulips and pink carnations. I'm actually going outside of my norm today and I'm using silver flatware instead of gold. I just thought this silver goes nicely with these soft pastel colors and I actually picked these up at Dollar Tree a while ago. This velvet pink ribbon was a 70% off find at Joanne after Christmas. That is the best way to pick up supplies and things like that is to get them when they're going out of season and you can usually find them for a pretty big discount. I like this Dollar Tree wreath around the bowl of eggs because the natural texture of it reminds me of a bird's nest. I wanted to incorporate these beautiful flowers into my centerpiece, into the bowls of eggs, but I didn't have floral tubes to stick them into so that they would stay fresh. So what I decided to do was to use some damp paper towel wrapped in plastic wrap. It's been a couple of days since I put the arrangements together and they seem to be doing pretty well. So once I wrapped the stems of the flowers, I just stuck them in and sort of hid them underneath the eggs. And I have to say that I just love the way this turned out. It's sort of whimsical and unexpected. Speaking of whimsy, I think that this is another one of my favorite parts of this tablescape. I was very inspired by that craft paper that I showed you in the beginning. And if you notice, those little bunnies are wearing crowns of flowers. So I thought, why not give our little bunnies their own floral crowns? It's sweet little details like this that make all the difference in the world for your guests and for you. Another really special touch on our tablescape, continuing our egg theme, is these pink deviled eggs, which I'm actually gonna call pink angel eggs. I just made my favorite deviled egg recipe and add a little red food coloring to the filling in order to get this very soft, light pink. For a touch of flavor and some color, a little chopped chives on the top. And then I arrange the eggs on the bottom tier of our cake stands. I added more flowers to our eggs in our centerpiece. And in this arrangement, I also added tulips for a really whimsical effect. I let the tulips spill out of the arrangement and it's just beautiful. 
This is the point in the video where I show you the full reveal, and if you've stuck with me this far, I'd like to ask that you consider subscribing and becoming a part of this beautiful living community, and also hit that like button. It really helps out my videos and my channel. I'm really glad to have you here, and I want you to be able to see everything that I have in store, so hit that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell.